Hey everyone, it's Dee. I hope you guys are doing well. This is part two of my haul video from the Goodwill bins. If you haven't checked out part one, please go check that out. Um, there were a lot of things to show, so I didn't want to cram it all in one video. And I felt like I talked too much in the first video and didn't get to show you enough. So um, let's get started on this one so we don't run out of time. So the first thing I have here is this um, new identity jacket. It is a size large and it is a winter jacket coat. And it has this fun floral embroidery here. And it's quite um, heavyweight and thick, so it'll definitely keep you warm. So it has this type of closure. It's like a loop here. And then, um, oh, I'm glad I looked at that because it is missing the buttons. Is it missing all of the buttons? Oh, I guess so. So it's going to be an open jacket then. Um, I'm definitely going to try to resell this. So there we have that. Then we have this here. If you saw part one, you'll see that I picked up some pet supplies. This is another one. Um, it is like a clotting gel that you would use in case you um, accidentally clip um, their skin when you're trimming their nails. I hate having to trim their nails. I much rather have them um, have, you know, have someone else that's a professional to do it, but I've had to do it occasionally, so I thought this would be helpful to have um, in case that were to happen. Um, I mentioned in my last video that I've been trying to pick up more blankets after watching Stephanie's video. So this is another baby blanket that I found. It does have a tag on it that somebody made or somebody sewed on and her name is Rosemary Yo. Made especially for you by Rosemary Yo. So that's sweet that it's personalized and um yeah I thought that is a, a nice blanket that someone might like and I mentioned also in my last video that we do use it for um our dog crates, the bedding. I do use like baby blankets so I tend to pick those up. So if they don't sell then I can always use them. This was a very interesting find. It is a dress that is made out of a sari. So this is the pattern. I mean, this is, this is what the sari was made into. So it has a zipper closure in the back and this is what the front looks like. And it's long, it's floor length. So I'll show you, that's what the bottom looks like. Um, I definitely have not seen a dress that's made out of a sari. I feel like maybe I've seen like tops or bottoms, but not like a full dress. So it has a zip closure. I bought it mainly to show my mom because I thought she might be interested in something like this. She has a lot of saris that she's been wanting to turn into different things. So um, I thought that would be like an idea for her. I found this set of Tupperwares and mainly because it was new, it still had the plastic and I feel like these colors scream 70s, right? Um, it just says Tupperware made in the USA on the bottom, but look at that. Like I feel like those are 70s mod colors, so that's why I went ahead and picked those up. I don't know if they still, I mean I know they still make Tupperware, but I don't know if they make those colors still. I found this um, colander and it has a handle. So I thought that was unique. Sometimes when I'm trying to drain something, um, it just, I think it's convenient to have one with a handle and I don't think I've ever seen one out and about. So that's why I picked that up. Um, it definitely looks vintage. Oh, it has a mark. Let's see. West Bend aluminum wear is what it says right there in the middle. I know it's probably hard for you guys to read, but I just want to show you that that's what it looks like. I found this adorable candy cane, or not candy cane, just uh, mint? I don't know, what do you call these mint candies? Um, like a little Ziploc bag, not a Ziploc bag, what am I saying? A zipper bag, a pouch. And it's new with the tags and it's by Mutt Pie. 
does it have a price? Oh, it does, but it's scratched off. It says Christmas peppermint. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> Christmas peppermint case. So that was nice. That's definitely something that I could save and gift during Christmas time. Like put a, another gift in there and kind of use it as like a reusable bag. So I have been trying to pick up more plush. So I picked up Pippi. I just love that her hair is sticking straight up. And um, I did look this one up and it appears to be an older design. So I think that I might have some luck selling this. How cute is she? So I thought that for a vintage doll, she um, looked to be in pretty good condition. So that's why I picked her up. This one is not particularly old, but it's a um, musical and it's this giraffe and it's the Child of Mine brand, which is by Carter's. And um, it has been selling on eBay. So I just went ahead and picked it up. It isn't going for very much, but because I paid by the pound, I, feel, I felt like I could take a chance with this. I found these adorable Garfield cards. Um, I definitely watched Garfield a lot growing up. So um, it is from 1978 by Ambassador Hallmark and it's an invitation actually. So this is what it looks like, but you know, you don't have to, if, if you're writing cards and sending it to people, you don't, you can still, you know, use it. It doesn't matter that it has those um, words in inside, but I liked that um, paper find. And then we have this. It is a bowl and um, picture set. And I, I think that it came with a box, but the box was kind of mangled and I tend to not pick up like extra packaging since I am buying stuff by the pound. So um, it does have both of the tags and I felt like it looked very Christmassy. I don't know if it's meant to be, but I don't know how this survived being in the bin. But um, yeah, so I thought that I'll give that a go at selling. I'm gonna have to move some stuff. Okay, so we are down to the last bag, finally. Okay, so back to the blankets. I found this one that like looked very retro to me, so that's why I picked it up. It has this um, groovy combination of colors here. So we have that one. We have this one here that looks very similar in colors to that other one I just picked, but not as vintagey, I guess. I don't know. This looked so familiar to me, and there is a tag on it, so, but it's ripped off. I don't know if if this looks familiar to you guys at all. Let me know. Um, I feel like maybe I've seen this somewhere, but who knows? There was this adorable child sweater. It's by the brand Dreamsicle. It says mediums 10 to 12. This cute little cardigan. How awesome are those colors and that cute little pattern? So I was excited about that. I found a Victoria's Secret pajama set. Where is the front? So it's a Victoria's Secret size small. And this is the top here, very silky, feels great. So it's a long sleeve top and just long pants. I think it's in here somewhere. There we go. So we have that set. Sometimes it's hard to find the the matching set. Like this I definitely found in one bin and then I kept looking and looking and I managed to find the other one. So that's a little tip. If you can't find something, go ahead and grab it. You might find it in a different bin. So I have um, sold 
like horse riding equestrian pants before and so I recognized it when I got it. It has this extra um, like textured area in the middle on the inseam actually. So that's why I picked it up. They do sell well. This looked to be in very good condition. Let me see. Um, this is what is a sticky seat. And that, so that's what the tag looks like. So there was that brand and then there was this brand, which I've seen before. And it also has that portion in the inseam that helps you, I think, like hold on to the horse better when you're riding. I found this fur vest. It has this tag here. This is what the back looks like. So <laughs> definitely vintage because it says Hong Kong, but so we have that. Oops. We are nearing the end. Um, I really liked this placemat, or I think it's a placemat, but there was only one. So I went ahead and got it. I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do with it. But isn't it pretty? Um, I think it's a placemat. It looks handmade too from what the back looks like. So we have that. We have this set of napkins, and I think there was only five of them. I thought maybe I could find a sixth one, but I could not. So this is what they look like. And they look like they've never been used. So um, we use cloth napkins. So when I see some, I try to pick them up. Um, if you watch Stephanie's videos, I will also leave her information again down below so you can go check her out. She talks about like security blankets and loveys. And I think when I saw this, it definitely matched that description. So I went ahead and picked this up. Um, it's Carter's Child of Mine again. And I did look this up and it looked like um, one had sold recently and then they had like the more feminine version of this. A couple of those were listed. So I thought that that was a good find. Is this very pretty? scarf here let's see and it did have a tag it's 100 wool made in japan access is a brand so i just picked it up because it had a very pretty design i think it's a square scarf if i'm not mistaken so back to the blankets there was this winnie the pooh one that looked in fairly good condition so i went ahead and picked it up i love winnie the pooh um did it have a tag it does have a tag it says disney baby and it has the castle on it so um i'll have to give that a wash and see what i can do so two more things we have this blanket here that has quite a few colors and looks to be in awesome condition. So we have that blanket. And the last thing I have is this dress, um, cherry velvet made in Canada is what it says here. And there's, there's the website here if you guys can see. And then, it's this dress here that I found. Um, I picked it up because the colors were really nice and um, I thought that somebody might like this. So that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry that this <laughs> took so long. Um, let me know what you guys thought about the haul down below and like and subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.